and welcome back to Weeby Kids. Today we are going to look at how to use the buttercup and daisy that you can find all over fields, parks and down edges of garages in many different places and we're going to be turning those into some beautiful buttercup and daisy chains. Collect between 15 and 20 buttercups and daisies. You can of course use some other flowers as well but these are the ones that you may remember making daisy chains with when you were young yourself. Try and pick them with a stem as long as possible and you're also going to need to use the edge of your thumbnail. Now making daisy chains is relatively simple and most people can manage this. So part way down the length of your daisy chain you're just going to flatten it between your thumb and finger a little. Then taking the edge of your nail you're going to slice into the stem and then by doing that you're actually creating, see if I can get that there, a little bit of a hole in your stem. And you can see that there, it's very very fine. Now there is always the possibility that sometimes when you do this you may go too far so it does take a little bit of practice but you're going to take the second daisy or buttercup and you're just going to slot the stem through the hole like so and then simply pull it through so that the head joins with the hole and then giving yourself a little bit of extra you are going to snip with your nails any excess stem away to give us our first piece of chain and we are going to continue this using our thumbnail and you're going to slot your buttercup through your daisy and slide it all the way up again just shorten off your chain and you can continue this until your chain is as long as you would like it to be sometimes when you separate the stem, you, as I say, sometimes you may actually go too far and break the stem. And if that happens, just remove your daisy or your buttercup and try again. Before long, you are going to have a chain of quite some length. And I recommend that you finish your chain off with a buttercup. The reason for this is that usually the buttercup has a slightly thicker stem and this time when you make your hole in the stem you are going to need to pass an entire head of the flower through it rather than just a stem. So slotting our last flower onto our chain you pulling the long length of the buttercup up this time, remove any excess stem, give yourself a lot of space. You're going to make your hole with your thumb, but it needs to be a little bit longer. And to do this, you very slightly slide your thumb up the length of the stem. And the idea is that this time our hole, as you can see there, is somewhat larger. And you have to make it large enough for you to be able to pass the first flower that you had through. It may take several times for you to make it the right size. Then, taking your first flower head, you're gonna to have to see how large it needs to be to pass through the hole. This is quite a delicate operation. As you pass that head through. And then as before, you just break off the excess. And there we have a beautiful daisy chain ready to be worn 
and played with. Many hours of fun can be had making and creating beautiful buttercup and daisy chains with lots of fun in the summer. Take care! Bye from Wavy Kids!